probably going to be lead. No, it's not. Look at that. Something tiny. Oh, part of a silver ring. Dude, that's awesome. Look at that. It's part of a... It might be silver. No. It's not, but it's got some stones, some green stones in it. That is freaking cool, man. Dude. That is awesome. I love that. Colonial jewelry. Broken. I like that sound. Yes, I do. Be something good. Something in there. Could be something good. It is. It's a round. Oh, it's awesome. Fancy pants button. I think. Or is it something else? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Dude, that's awesome. It's another piece of jewelry, I think. I love it. Yes, sir. Got to come back here tomorrow. No freaking way. It's a piece of button. I gotta be very careful of that. <sighs> Doesn't have anything on it that I can see. Man. That is definitely a Peter button though. Gosh, that's awesome. It's a really good hit. Something good there. Be very good. Alrighty. Is that part of a shoe buckle? Probably. That's awesome. Got hit by something. That's awesome. I love it. Hmm. <clears throat> rest of it in here maybe maybe nope yep there it is more of it that's awesome I love that I love it like that. You know, it's not great. A great signal. 
like it now. Really good. Ah, it's a musket ball. Okay. Models too. Something there. Wonder. That's cool as crap. Yes, sir. I love that. That's cool. The watch winder. Sweet. What's that? That's one right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cool. It's a little clay marble. That's awesome. I love it. Oh, now, I just dug up this button. It's got a little gold gilt on it. I don't know why I didn't have this video going. I've been just digging and digging. Finally got a nice button. Let's see the unveiling. Hey, Tom. button let's see I got it. I don't know what it is yet I'm on video right now I don't know what it is yet I know it's a button I know it's got some gold gilt right there yeah. oh yeah what do you think I don't think I got my glasses on it's got a nice shank on it it's definitely a two-piece oh yeah it looks good it looks great especially when I haven't found one in a while see some gold. What do you think it's going to be military? It looks, it looks it. I get something to brush it with real quick. Uh, something like wood. Oh. So much trash around here, I could find something. <laughs> oh, there, there's a piece. There we go. Here we go. It's awesome, thanks. Yeah, it's a smashed. Looking 
like a smashed crown or something maybe on it. That's a looks British. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a nice one. Look at that. Different looking. I love finding these. Yes. Boy, it could have broken like right now. Jeez. Cool, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's awesome. Look at that. That's sweet. Hey, guys. Time for another wrap-up for Detecting Savannah, episode 18. This video consists of multiple hunts. Uh, one of which I meet up with a local uh, veteran relic recoverist or detectorist, uh, Tom Perry, and have a good day with him. Uh, most of these finds are over a week's period. Um, I don't get to get out for long periods of time. I've got short hunts that I, um, I do uh, my best finds as far as videoing. So I hope you enjoy it. Here are the finds. You can see here, uh, first off, these colonial items down here. Um, we've got a button. It's got some silver wash on it. Really old button and fancy, fancy pants button where the shank would have been back there, I'm assuming. I cleaned it off, actually. It, when I first got it, uh, got it out of the ground, it was, it was real dirty. And I uh, noticed all the, the silver wash all over the thing. And we got this piece of shoe buckle. So this actually was found in two different pieces, broken in the middle. I glued it together. And uh, it looked, turned out pretty good, actually. And it's beautiful. I love it. Nice old colonial shoe buckle. That's, that's going to be... Um, and that could date back into the mid-1700s even, I believe. Then I've got this cool ring. It's got some green... Um, glass stones or just some green stones in it I believe I thought it may have been silver it's not silver I think it might actually uh, either be brass uh, or some some kind of um, uh, pewter maybe I don't know but the big stone in the middle goes through the back side you can see there where it pops through anyway I love it it's it's really really cool looking um, colonial uh, ring and we've got this um, pewter button piece it could have had something on it one <laughs> at one time uh, but it's just uh, an old pewter button there in the back so you see where the shank was in the in the seam there's mold mold seam uh, then we get over here um, this button I found uh, with Tom Perry actually I'm showing him this is the button it's got some flower crown thing design on it <laughs> it um, it does have a back mark I don't remember you can see Kendrick and company um, nice gold gilded button two-piece uh, China marble I thought this was possibly clay but it's a China marble clay pull, uh, uh, pipe bowl been used obviously very cool I love finding these things these clay pipe bowls and stems this uh, oval brass piece I don't know what this is um, it rang up very high um, it, um, 
It's actually very nice brass. Uh, this I think is a flattened three ringer um, or something that's lead. It's definitely um, um, flattened and, and carved lead on that site. A nice vest buckle. Still actually works, the little chafe part, whatever you want to call it, the tongue. Still flips back and forth. Watch winding key. I love finding these as well. And then this piece, I don't know exactly what it is. It's brass. It's got a little um, rod in there that goes to the middle. I think it, I mean, I, it reminds me of a ramrod guide or part of a ramrod. I'm not sure. It's brass for sure. Um, anybody knows what that is, please comment. And I hope you enjoy the video.